Hello, I'm Chef Joey Prats. Welcome to our kitchen. Today, I'm going to show you how easy it is to make wonderful cakes and pastries using the Joey Pratt's Ultra Mixes line. Whether you are a small cafe trying to expand your product line, or maybe a home baker wanting to start a home bake shop, or a five-star hotel wanting to expand your line and even save up on labor costs, Joey Pratt's Ultra Mixes is the answer to your problems. Let's get started with today's recipe. We're making our basic chiffon cake. Now this is a wonderful product because it just takes three easy steps to make the fluffiest chiffon cakes ever. We'll begin by, of course, preheating the oven. And we've set out some pans here. There's no need to line your pans with paper or grease them with any sort of fat or shortening because chiffon cakes need to cling onto the sides of your cake pan for it to rise wonderfully in the oven. So we'll begin by emptying our chiffon cake mix into our bowl. And into our mix, we are going to add water oil, and some egg yolks. You simply mix using a whisk or even a rubber spatula. You need to mix this into a smooth batter. Look at this. Look at how wonderful this mixture is turning out to be. Really smooth, really glossy. Our chiffon cake formula has been tested hundreds of times to ensure that you, the home baker, or even the establishment, will make chiffon cakes that are incomparable. I set this aside and I have here a, a KitchenAid mixer bowl into which I'm going to add my egg whites. Now egg whites have to be at room temperature for it to whip wonderfully high. And into this I'm adding my cream of tartar. Now I'm going to mix this on medium high speed for about a couple of minutes to get it nice and fluffy and really stiff peaks. And into that I am going to fold in the egg yolk batter which we have mixed up earlier. Now, never turn your mixer up to full speed or high speed when you're mixing egg whites. You don't want to incorporate too much air too soon because what happens then is you end up with your cakes having large holes inside and you don't want that. You want your chiffon cakes to be as light and as fine-grained as possible. Our egg whites are now reaching the stiff peak stage we want to check it to make sure it's at the right stage. And here you have it, stiffly peaked egg whites. Now I'm going to fold this into our egg yolk mixture. Look at how fluffy and airy this is. So we fold it lightly, gently, using a cut and fold motion. And this recipe makes six eight inch layers. So that's enough to make two eight inch uh, cakes with three layers for each cake. All right, you wanna get, you wanna scrape every bit of egg whites into this mixture. Now, I'm going to use a scale to pan our batter because you want to get them all even, nice and even, and so that you don't burn one layer and have another layer underbake. So we're going to deposit or pan 275 grams of chiffon batter. There you go. Now, you give it a little shake to even out the batter, and it's always a good idea to tap the pan about three or four times to get all the large air bubbles out of there. Because you want your chiffon cake to be just all smooth and, and fine grained. Now, I pop this into my oven, wait 20 minutes, and when we come back, I'll show you the finished product, how wonderfully light and tall our chiffon cakes will come out. I have in my mixing bowl some whipping cream, or you can use a non-dairy pastry topping. We're going to whip this until it turns out to be nice and stiff. I like to go on medium speed so as not to have a whipped cream that would deflate right away after whipping. This takes about five minutes. Hello, welcome back. Our whipped cream is almost done. Now this is how stiff we want it to be. Look at this. I flip the bowl this way, and when your whipped cream stays inside the bowl, you know it's done. I'm going to start frosting this cake by setting one of the layers in my turntable or Lazy Susan here. And then, we're going to spread some whipped cream frosting. Now, I like to pile up a little bit more than I need of frosting because it's very easy for me to remove excess frosting this way. So, we're going to layer some honeycomb here 
It gives a nice crunch and contrast to the texture of the chiffon cake, which is soft and fluffy. Once you have your honeycomb in place, we're going to put another layer on top here, and we repeat the process. And we top that off with the third layer of chiffon cake. I am so excited to sink my teeth into this cake. This is one of my favorite creations. All right, once you have your frosting in place, the next step would be to smoothen it out and to get it nice and perfect. Now I'll show you a decorating technique. All you need is the very spatula that you used to frost your cake. So it goes this way. Uh, you start with the sides and you simply pat the cake with the spatula at an angle and it creates a nice rustic looking edge. Now once you're done, clean up the base of the cake. Now we're going to pile some more honeycomb, but this time I have some honeycomb which were broken into larger pieces. That way you have a nicely decorated top. And this would make a great cake for a presentation. You can bring this over to a family reunion or to a church gathering, and people will just talk about it for hours, for days, for even weeks. And your secret, Joey Pratt's Ultra Mixes. Here is our finished caramel crunch cake. Remember, with Joey Pratt's Ultra Mixes, you're guaranteed of increased sales, efficiency, and profitability all within your reach. Whether you're a small home bake shop, or a medium-scale patisserie, or even a five-star hotel or a commissary, Joey Pratt's Ultra Mixes is your partner in success.